and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm Pastor Joey Rogers, glad that you've joined us today. I want you to take this opportunity to share out this broadcast right now on your social media platform. It's information that you're going to need to know, especially in the days that we're living in, where we are under the influence of a lying spirit in the United States of America and the world. And this article is one more proof of that fact. The Durham Report, this article says, exposes the media's tyranny of lies. As we soak in the damning findings of the Durham report, one thing becomes crystal clear, this article says, that the American news media, whether wittingly or not, has been misleading us since the moment Donald Trump became a political figure. It goes on to say, in many ways, a tyranny of lies is harder to fight against than a tyranny of brute power. That's why George Orwell focused so much on language in his book and movie, 1984, and words of warning how that fascism creeps into our lives and newspeak, not guns, is the real threat. It goes on to say, so for now, there is a stalemate. The news media lies, the public doesn't believe them, and little to no action, uh, actual discourse can occur. It is not sustainable, but how it ends, nobody knows. Well, I can tell you that the scripture is very clear concerning it. In the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter number 2, verses 7 down through 12, the Bible says that that spirit of Antichrist, the lawless, lying spirit of Satan himself, is already loose in our world. And it says in verse number 9, even him, talking about the Antichrist, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, Verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because, and this is the key, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. The Bible goes on to say that the people that don't love the truth of God's word and truth who is Jesus Christ will believe that lie and strong delusion will come to them. One of the signs in the last days is that people will not endure sound doctrine. In fact, they would give way to lies and the perpetration of that through seducing spirits, the Bible says, and doctrines of devils. Our culture has invented words that actually deceive the masses today. But the book of Proverbs 12 and 22 says, lying lips are an extremely disgusting to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight. The loss of the trust in the news media, uh, politicians and preachers for that matter, Jesus warned about in Matthew 24 when he said, take heed that you be not deceived. Now, Jesus' warning comes with several things, and I want to share them quickly with you now. First of all, we should learn to recognize the warning signs of deception. Well, what is that? Simply put, first of all, is doubting God and his word. 1 Timothy 4 and 1 says in the last days that some would depart from the faith. So doubting God and doubting God's word is a setup for deception. Not only that, but living with lies. That is, accepting lies or neglecting truth. That's a setup for you to walk right into uh, that lying spirit. What does that mean? What are you talking about when you say that? Well, that men can have babies. That's an absolute lie. The Bible tells us that uh, it was Satan who came to deceive Eve in the garden and she believed that lie, that if she partook of the fruit and Adam his well, that they would not die, but that was a lie. When we embrace that kind of untruth and uh, deception, as a matter of fact, accepting lies as truth, uh, we are set up for the spirit of lying. In fact, in the time we're living in right now, calling men women and women men is one more uh, indictment against us as we literally are forcing back on the Word of God. Here's another thing. It's important for us to combat the spirit of lies by placing our complete trust in God's Word as the standard of truth. The Bible says in 1 John 4 and 1, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Try every spirit to see if it's of God. And then finally, refuse to be part of misinformation and lies. That's where we find 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 giving us very pointed and specific instruction and and things that we need to know about because if we do not love the truth, receive the love of the truth, then everything else is a lie. 
We're living in that atmosphere where people are not believing God and actually having pleasure, the Bible says there in verse 12, in unrighteousness. Well, there's one thing that I know, my friends. In the last days, Jesus said these things would take place. But the Word of God is true. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the truth and the life. It's important for you today to embrace the truth who is Jesus Christ. And I hope that you'll share this out and remind everybody that Jesus Christ is coming soon.